7.1. You're over, Mr. McIsaac. No way. Do it again. Hey, man. This truck has to go to impound. Can you get his kids out of the cab? Take them to the station till the next of kin sort it out? Man, there's something wrong with your machine. We'll give you another test at the station. I'm telling you, there's something wrong with your machine. I haven't been drinking. What's your buddy doing? Hey! You leave my kids alone! Don't touch my kids! Dad! Crazy, eh? You ready to settle down? You hurt my kids, I'll kill you, I swear to God. Still got it. <laughs> Marcy, you sure you don't want me to put the straightening comb on it? No, oh, Mom. I like this. This is great. You know, you could have done that yourself. Yeah, well, why would I do that when I got you? Oh, actually, I gotta go. I can uh, go for. Well, at least you can just say goodbye to your father. Austin! Jesus, woman. You trying to wake the dead? <laughs> Morning, Dad. Look at you. Why are you all dolled up? Me and your mom may have a potential gig. Hey, oh, Patsy. Yeah. Marcy, Patsy's here. Oh, hey, cuz. Oh, you're out here pretty early. Hey. Hey. What's, uh, what's going on? Go on, tell her. Best just to rip the bandage right off. What happened? Wes call off the wedding? <laughs> Marcy, Reverend Walters had a heart attack last night. He's going to be fine, but not in time for the wedding on Friday. Wes spoke to Reverend Slaughter, and I got to go. Come on. I got to go. I'm going to be like. We're family. I don't have mom. I need you in her spot. It's important. Anyone but him. I'm sorry. Constable Myers. How was Martinique this morning? Big and brisk. I don't know how you do it. That shit is cold. 
It's not so bad. I got you doing 90 and a 50. But, uh, I think I'm gonna let this one slide. No, 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 come on. I'll take my medicine. You have yourself a good afternoon, Marcy. Pam, do you know how to mute this damn thing? Judge Foster lost his shit last week when it went off in court. Yeah. I did that already. It didn't work. You guys missed that ferry. You're going to be late for court. We're waiting for the newbie. Why would you hire a corporate lawyer to work for legal aid? I don't get it. Do you even know what time court starts? Those corporate types that work on banker's hours. You even know what banker's hours are? Sorry, I'm late. You better get going. If you're late, Colleen will have your asses. He's not wrong about that. We thought we'd show Marcy the ropes since it's her first plea day. Well, that's nice, but I want you on time. I hear enough trash talk about legal aid. <laughs> Besides, Marcy, your client's here. Oh. I thought you quit smoking. You're sure about hiring your protege, eh? Oh, yeah. Marcy's great. This is real time, Mr. McIsaac. Willie. People only call me Mr. if they're about to give me shit. Impaired driving. Lie. Resisting arrest. Bullshit. Assault. Assault. <laughs> it was a, a touch football tap. It wasn't nothing. This is your fourth DUI. I can talk to the Crown about a suspension. A suspension? Do you know what I do for a living? I drive. Big trucks. I got a special license. It's insured. I can't lose my license. Well, you should have thought... Bitch, before... look at me. I can't lose my license. Mr. McIsaac, you get three seconds to apologize or this bitch will no longer be your lawyer. One. Two. No, I'm sorry. Please. Help me. Okay. You tell me everything. Me and my son are at the baseball hey, game. What's up, by your sister girl? My little girl Becky, she uh Get it girl, come on! She plays for one of the South End teams. All I'm doing is cheering her on. Are you freaking blind, Doc? One of those stuck up arseholes. Is this Dr. Webster? Yeah. He tells me I can't cheer on my own kid. Screw that. Come on. Yeah. Hey, back up. Good eye. You want to sit down and shut up now? You want to leave it alone, Webster? <coughs> Next thing, I'm going back to the truck with the kids. We're just going to grab some supper when. Good evening, sir. Out of nowhere, I got this cop on me. Nice some registration. Asking if I've been drinking. Were you? No. <laughs> but I see that arsehole looking, and I know. I, I know he's the one that set this up. Okay. Okay, Mr. McIsaac. I got this. get back um you look good rested mcisaac you're working for legal aid yeah you're working for the crown well that's what a difference a year makes right yeah well defense for crown criminal law is criminal law that's not what you used to say uh the mcisaac case yeah um guy's a drunk. It's his fourth DUI. He's done. The two convictions as a minor shouldn't be part of this conversation. It's on his record. Because a lousy lawyer gave a teenager lousy advice. My client's a recovering alcoholic. He says he was dry. What else is he going to say? You're sure the test is good? Discovery. 
You know, you wouldn't appear on a DUI for one of your fat cat M&M &M clients, yet here you are. Marcy Diggs at Legal Aid. <laughs> Such a waste. Not your business. Let's do this. Can we file a joint petition to the Register of Motor Vehicles? That way, McIsaac can hold on to his license beyond the next five days. <laughs> Come on, Marcy. Look, if your client wants to talk, please. Your favorite word. Let's just say, um, three years suspension, six months in custody, and we can talk. Otherwise, I'll see you in court. Hopefully before that, now that you're back. No, I'll see you in court. Impaired driving, resisting arrest. Look at me. You get three seconds to apologize or I will no longer be your lawyer. One, two. No, I'm sorry. I can't lose my kids. Help me. The system let her down. Not the system, us. He's just going to jail. Dad! Well, if I can help it. Take the plea deal. This ends today. Oh, I'm just getting started. New and exclusive. Digstown starts Thursday, 19th of August on Universal.